and today I'm going to be making a video on electric longboard motors. In this video I'm going to be going over what the KV rating of a motor means, what the different sizes of motors mean, and how to choose the best motor for your setup. Uh, in my hands I have two motors. This one on right here is a 6374 motor made by Turnigy and over here is a 6355 motor uh, I'm not sure of the brand. This motor is a hundred uh, this motor is 245 kV and this motor is 190 kV. These motors are great to use as a comparison because they are very different and uh, both of these motors should be used on very different setups. So first of all let me get started by talking about this motor. This is the 6374 motor made by Turnigy. Uh, what it means when you hear 6374, 6355, 5064, that basically just is talking about the size of the motor. So 50, or 6374 is what this motor is. That means it is 63 millimeters in diameter and 74 millimeters long. This is about the largest motor you'll find on most electric skateboards out there. Um, the size of the motor really just determines how powerful your motor will be. If you have one huge motor, you're going to have a lot more speed than, or uh, you're going to have a lot more power than one small motor. Uh, usually, a motor of this size is used for a single motor setup, as it is quite large, and you can't fit two of these on one truck. Uh, it's a 245 kV motor, and the kV rating of a motor basically determines the amount of torque your motor will have and the top speed your motor will have. Uh, the average t kV uh, range for an uh, electric skateboard is between 190, is what this motor is, and 245 is pretty much the highest. So I have two motors with uh, very different kVs here. The higher kV your motor, the more top speed you'll have, basically, and the lower the kV is the more torque you will have. Right here would be... This motor right here, like I was saying, is 245 kV, so it's about the highest kV you can get for an electric skateboard, and it's perfect for a lower voltage setup such as 6S. Uh, I've used this motor on my 6S setup with 97 millimeters or 97 millimeter wheels, sorry, and a 60, 16 tooth motor pulley and a 36 tooth wheel pulley, and I was able to hit over 45 kilometers an hour on a 6S setup. So. People who think that you can't go fast on a 6S setup, that's really false. Uh, you can build a 12S setup that goes slower than a 6S setup if you really want to. So it all depends on the type of motor you use and the way you gear it. If you do choose a motor with high KV and you live in a very hilly area or you're a very heavy person, you're going to want to adjust your gearing accordingly. Alright, now we'll talk about this motor. This is the 6355 motor. Um, I'm not actually sure of the brand of it. I, the person I bought it off of got it off of Hobby King. It's now discontinued. Uh, like I was saying, it's 6355, so it's quite a bit smaller than the other motor. And it is 190 kV, so it has a much, much lower kV. This motor does have quite a bit of torque considering it's 190 kV, however the top speed I'm looking for is not enough with this motor considering I run a 6S setup. This motor would be perfect for a 12S setup or a 10S setup, something with higher voltage as it is a lower kV so it will give you enough torque but stepping up the voltage will give you the speed you need. A motor of this size could also be used for a dual motor electric skateboard because a lot of people can fit two of these motors side by side on one truck hanger. To finish this video off, I'll just compare these two motors uh, side by side. So we have the bigger motor with a higher KV and the smaller motor with a lower KV. So the higher KV means higher top speed, the lower KV means more torque but less speed. The size of the motor will determine the amount of power that your motor can push out. So this one is a little bit. Of, this one is a much stronger motor, but this one, uh, although it's smaller, it could be used with a dual motor setup to get the power that 
a larger person need or someone who wants a ton of acceleration. Both of these motors are great motors for electric skateboards. However, for a 6S setup, this motor is ideal in my opinion, especially live, especially if you live in a f area with uh, not a lot of hills, because it is very powerful for its size and it has a high KV, so it gives you enough top speed. This motor, on the other hand, would be perfect for a higher voltage setup or someone who lives in a slightly hilly area because of the low KV. It will give you the torque you need to get up hills, and if you run it on a higher setup or a higher voltage setup, you could get a lot of top speed out of it if you needed to. So I hope this video helped clear up any confusion you had with electric longboard motors. If you want, if you want me to make any other videos on electric longboard parts, such as the battery or uh, different motor mounts or gearing, just leave a comment down below, uh, and I'd be happy to make a video about it. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.